We're now going to take a quick look at comparing compilation to interpretation as translation methods and software solutions. Now, basically, we have a table set up here, and we're just going to have a look at them both side by side in how they're similar, how they're different, and the advantages and disadvantages of each. So firstly, compilation is the process of translating the entire source code into machine code at once, whereas interpretation Okay, is the process of translating the source code into machine code statement by statement. And basically this follows the sequence of the program. So as you go through the sequence of the program, each statement gets turned from source code into machine code and also then highlights errors as you go, okay, pinpointing where there's an actual issue. Compilation is commonly used for most software applications because we kind of want everything ready to go and we send it out and we don't really want anyone going through our source code in this scenario. So it's used for software applications, whereas um, generally interpretation is used for web-based scripts such as PHP. In the fact that these are online and on a server and usually inaccessible where they are saved. So it's not too bad that the source code is available in these scripts because someone accessing the website probably can't access those codes. The advantages of compilation are that programs are able to perform at full capacity as there is no translation of the source code being required when in runtime. So when I run this program, it's already been translated. So when it's actually running, there's no more translation occurring. So it's running at full capacity. Once made executable, the comp compilation is no longer necessary in future uses of the software. So the next time I start up the program, it's already been compiled once and translated once, so I don't need to do the process again. It's now fully executable. And finally, due to the difficult uh, process to access the source code again, okay, it actually protects the source code. So we can't have people going into our source code and change our program. Now, there are obviously open source programs where we want this to happen. Okay, and so that's a whole different scenario altogether. But in commercial software, we usually don't want people getting into our source code. The advantages of interpretation relate to testing the program as it's easier for developers to look at the code as it's executed and as it's being translated line by line, basically pinpoints when an actual error would be and link it to a specific statement in the source code. It also enables faster editing and running of code because once an error gets highlighted, you can go straight into that code, change the code or fix it up, and then go back in and interpret again in order to compile the program, allowing it to actually pinpoint the issue and resolve the issue at the time. Or just change things on the fly if you want to edit the program, okay, and test out to see what it's like. Finally are the disadvantages for both of these. So for compilation, Basically, it's difficult to access the source code again after compilation. So if you have published the program and then you do want to make changes, you have to go through a process of decompiling, which may relate to finding another piece of software, but it's often difficult to get back into the code. And then finally, for interpretation, okay, due to the code being translated during runtime, it impacts on the functionality of the software. Translations going while the software is running, so it actually slows down the running of the software. And finally, the source code is accessible. Okay, so this can lead to issues if uh, another body goes into the actual source code and actually edits it or modifies it, can corrupt the program, could link in a virus, do a lot of damage to people's systems. So I hope this has been a good introduction to the two types of translation methods in converting uh, source code into machine code. In compilation, where basically everything is uh, translated beforehand and then the program is running, okay, and interpretation, where the program, while in use, gets interpreted statement by statement as per the sequence of the software.